uh, even though Kerry Lam had, uh, has not categorically said uh, to withdraw the bill, at least now she has delayed, I would say that realistically it's extremely difficult to fight for anything in Hong Kong because of the how 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 the, the stronghold of China and how helpless we are. But you, if you think back, even two months ago, nobody would ever imagine that there would be two million people in Hong Kong coming out in March. Basically, a third of the population in Hong Kong coming out in March on one day. It's a, it was unheard of. Nobody had any expectation of that. Like even two months ago, everybody thought that it's going to pass. Um, so I would say that in, uh, when, even when facing with these uh, uh, difficulties, we never lost hope because we've already achieved what we once thought impossible. Uh, and you know, learning from history. Uh, I, I, I always use the Berlin Wall as an example. Even on the morning of the uh, of the Berlin Wall falling down, if you ask anybody on the east and west, hey, the wall is coming down tonight. <laughs> Nobody would think that. Everybody would, would tell you that it's crazy. Things do happen in history, and I think it's important that we do not give up. Because in Hong Kong, we are already enjoying uh, a certain level of freedom and liberty, certain level. Uh, well, at least I can talk to a French journalist uh, in the bar. Whereas there's like billion of Chinese citizens in uh, in China right now that cannot do what I'm doing. Uh, there's thousands, hundreds, and thousands of uh, uh, Chinese lawyers are, are, are being detained. So we are fighting a giant. Uh, is it difficult? Yes. Is it impossible? Probably. But we can never give up on that.